twice you end the broadcast. Right. We've done. I've yeah. done that before. Yeah, I, I'm not trusted with buttons. No, but you sure do. Push them very drive, well. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> What's let's, wrong with that? Let's, let's, let's with see drivers. if we're actually online. If, well, oh, we're talking. I, uh, right. yeah. Yeah. It's as if we know Thank what we're going. doing. I'll push the button that says intro? intro. Outro? Intro. Whatever you want to do. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, friends, the world over, thank you for joining us today and welcome to episode number 55. 55. 55. Of the Double Nickels. Double Nickels. That's gambling. Yeah. Or well, that's a number. Where, where do you get Double Nickels? Uh, in the cash register? Or, I don't know. I don't know either, but it sounded familiar. And yeah, now you've got Double Nickels. Track. Thank you for joining us today and welcome to episode number Double Nickels of the absolutely amazing series known as Butcher Shop Television. Today is Wednesday, April 10th, 2024, and we are broadcasting live as per usual from smack dab in the middle of Jacob's Meat Market in Appleton, Wisconsin. My name is Eric, and with me, of course, the star of the show, the man himself. <laughs> Why the are you? Mayor of Meatville. No, Look, it's Eric, I don't think I've you? seen you since last week. Where have you been? Really? Yeah. I've been around. Have you been around? Yeah. Well, it's good that you Where came back. Where have you been? I've been around. Partying? Yeah. Birthday party? Birthday party. Oh, speaking of birthday, it? let's get that over with right yes. now because I got my first piece of fan mail. Fan this mail. Fan mail was delivered oh, wow. unto me when I arrived this morning. Yes. Uh, it has my name on it, and I was told that I was supposed to open it on the air. Someone has already beat me to the opening. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how that happened. It looks like your kind of opening. Did you open it? Uh, I can neither confirm nor deny that. Let's let's just take care of this, right? Yes. Now. Yes. Well, no wonder. Okay, donuts. What's that thousand dollar bill fall, doesn't fall out? Oh, that's missing. Oh, shoot. Donuts, I want everyone to see the donuts. Oh. Donuts with a happy What's your face. favorite kind of donut? The one that's in front of me. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, in the name of all that is holy, as in donuts. Don't, yeah. H-O-L-E-Y. Yes. Donut, forget to have a happy birthday. BSTV audience, the entire oh, audience wow. has sent me a card. How about That's that? That's fantastic. That Thank is you very fantastic. Much. Uh, you're going to ask me if I had a happy birthday, and I did indeed have a very you happy did. birthday. Oh, I awesome. I did indeed. Very happy awesome. birthday. That's great to hear. I, I think you texted did me you happy indulge? birthday about 15 I was going to count before we yeah. came back on the, on the air. <laughs> did I count what? Yeah. Did I count the number of no, times? No, I was going to count how many oh, times you I, that I texted you happy birthday, right? It was, it but was, I didn't. It I was, couldn't count that high. I, I, I enjoyed it. Yeah? Uh, yeah? Good. I mean, you might have thought you were getting on my nerves. No. You can text me happy birthday as often as you like. <laughs> and then uh, the following morning I texted you. Happy unbirthday. Happy unbirthday, Because that's yeah. the law. You have yeah. to do that. Yeah. Right. I'm going to tell everybody what we're going to do today. Do that, would you? Because it's, it, nothing's changed. Oh, so perfect. So they're dying to know. Yes. We'll cover our location, news and events. We have a special guest today. We do. Mr. Origami. Origami? Mr. Origami. I'm not hmm. sure. We'll find out. Okay. The Stay meat market tuned, mailer. Apparently. The April lunch contest, which is going gangbusters. Yes. yes. Uh, the weekly specials. Uh, don't have new products, but we have something back in stock that I am yes. very happy about. Oh, I bet you are. Special upcoming days. A winner of last week's contest. Plus, will we do another contest? This Absolutely. Week? Absolutely. Two fifty nine. You don't have to. You don't have to. Two fifty nine. I'm not sure why you re what? rehash that every week. So I don't want anybody to be surprised. Oh. Do you know what 259 is? I do, I do. <laughs> Tell very, everybody. It's uh, days till Christmas. Days till Christmas? Uh, yes. That's a very big day here at Jacob's. It is, market. yes. Uh, just before days that, before you have the, the barber barbershop quartet. And Santa. The, yeah, that's, and lines. that's a fun day. Yes. Lines. But they're fun lines. They are fun Everyone's lines, Everyone's yes. in a good mood. Your entire family is here helping. Yes. It's amazing. I don't know about the helping part, well, but they're, they're here. acting like they're helping. <laughs> yes. For anyone who may not know, please tell us where we are. We are at Jacob's Meat Market, uh, conveniently located in Appleton, Wisconsin, um, halfway between College and Wisconsin Avenue. Um, I would say halfway between uh, Drew Street and... Uh, How about Union and Center? Union and Center, Drew sure. and Mead. Drew and, Drew and Mead, I would say, yeah. Then I was thinking Drew Rankin and, and uh, Rankin. Drew and Rankin, I would say halfway between. Well, there's a stop sign on Mead, so... Yeah. yeah. 
544 North Law. Yes, yeah, That's in the, the corner of Law and Pacific. Law and Pacific. In Thank you very beautiful much. Beautiful Appleton, Wisconsin. It is. We'll get there. We'll get okay. there. Okay. Okay. Sometime. At some yes. point, we'll get there. Uh, birthdays. Claire and Jade's birthday. I didn't get the date though. Is it Saturday? Uh, Tuesday. Tuesday. Yes. Yesterday. Next. Next Tuesday. Tuesday. Yes. Now yes. these are your nieces. Nieces. Yes. They're both celebrating birthdays on, on the same day. The same day. They're yes. not twins. Correct. They don't even have the same parents. Born the same day. Same day. Correct. In 2010, so that would make them how old? On the very same day. Yes. In the same year. Yes. How did this get arranged? I. <laughs> I had nothing to do with it. Happy birthday, Claire. Happy birthday, Jade. A little yes. bit early. Yes. On today's episode of BSTV, as previously mentioned, it is, I believe it's Mr. Origami. Oh, you origami. said origami. Uh, I believe you said no, origami. Play the tape back. We'll yeah. see who's... <laughs> Nobody's playing the tape back. Next week on BSTV number 56, we'll have Jason from Stuck's Pizza. Yes. Pizza and Looking Pines and Nina. That. Yes. That's the sauces we're selling. That's the sauces, yeah. yes. Yeah. That... Right here. Oh, you have one handy. I do. Right there, Stuck's. Right on top of the meat I love the packaging. Yes. It's wonderful. Very simple. Very simple mm -hmm. packaging, and they're flying out the door. They are. Go ahead. Uh, he's, Chuck he, <laughs> I don't want to break the glass. No. They're, they're the not flying through door. the door. Yes. <laughs> not yes. through the door. Yes. You, they're selling really well. I've, really? I've, well. Yeah. I've, so I deliver to him every Friday, and every Friday that I've gone there, I've had to pick up pick two up cases. Some more. Two yeah. cases? Mm -hmm. so very yes. good. Very good. And Great. the following week, BSTV 57 will have a special guest. I'm going to call him local attorney, Franz Maurer. Franz Maurer, yeah. Franz Maurer. Yes. Okay. And I have events. Yes. We have so many events. We do. These are amazing Holy events. Holy man. This Saturday, which I believe is the 13th, mm -hmm. you're going to have a brat fry in your parking lot. Yes. This will be run by the Bent Arrow 4H. Correct. And do we know the hours? It's usually, uh, it's 10, usually 10 to 1. 10 to when they run out. Yes. Something like that. Yeah, 10 to 1 or so 10 to 2. So that's this Saturday, Anna. Yes. I usually avail myself of brats in your parking lot. I think you don't know that it's always going on, but then you have you smell the waft of the brats. And it's yeah, just, for you miles just and miles. Yes. Everybody comes. Yes. Uh, so I guess we're all be on Saturday. Yes, right. In the parking lot. In the parking lot. 10 to 2. A happy National Golfers Day, by the way. Oh, thank Today you. is National Golfers thank Day. Thank you. Uh, I, I got my that's, I will, hat. I will mention that later on in special days, but I mention okay. it now because this Saturday, April 13th, in downtown Appleton, is Mini Golf on the Town. I believe this was mentioned Ooh, yes. when you were speaking with Jennifer from Appleton Downtown. Right. Or Downtown Appleton. ADI. ADI, yeah. Appleton, Appleton Downtown. downtown. Yes. It's miniature golf that takes place in local establishments. Yes. They have an east course and a west course. You have to choose okay. the one. Okay. Uh, it's from one to five. Uh, search Appleton Mini Golf the Town on the internet for full details. I think sure. it's $60, but it's for four people. Oh, so, okay. And then you just go from probably bar to bar to bar. Right. Oh, man, <laughs> that sounds rough. You, I'm sure you don't have to be a good golfer. You don't have to be any no, sort of golfer because golf. it's mini golf. Yeah, you, don't you don't probably have to yeah, golf. right. Don't have right. to. Don't even participate. Yeah, just right. go from bar to bar. Yeah, yeah, right. Would you like to look at the weather? Yeah, I think we should. I think we should. It's lovely weather oh, today. Oh man! Why don't we look at the traffic too? Ooh, I like that kind of traffic. traffic. Yeah, I like that traffic. Yes, minimal. <laughs> minimal traffic. None. 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 Yes. It's time for our special guest. Mr. Origami. Mr. Origami, Mr. yes. I have, I have a, uh, uh, let's see if it's a joke. It is kind of a joke. Okay. Speaking of origami. Speaking. <laughs> have you heard of the Origami World Championships? World Championships? Yes. No. Yeah, but they're only available on pay-per-view. Oh, yes, but, um, yes, 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 of course. Yes, yes. Oh, that was nice. That was nice. <laughs> okay, we'll be right back.
All right, Mr. Origami is back with us. Thank you very much for joining us, Clarence. Clarence, no yep. is it Clarence Origami? No, just it, Clarence. Oh, just Clarence. Oh, okay, okay. So, we, so Mr. Origami is yeah. uh, is is referring to your what folding of the money. Yep. Yes, yes. Yes. All right. So, when did you start folding money? Probably or back in the late '80s. I started doing some folding, but okay. I did just minimal things like a ring or a W. Okay. The W okay. is a real simple thing that, that just looks like an anybody. M. That's an M. Oh, oh, that's a, that's w. a w. Oh, that's okay. Okay, so you started so, with the W. Right. Okay. And then for Christmas, I went someplace and I found this book, and I bought it for myself for Christmas. Oh wow! And it was the dip, buck book. Yep. Okay. And I never used the buck, but it has most of the money that I started with in here. Okay. And since then, people realize I fold it, and I've gotten like eight books since then. <laughs> oh wow! So they give them to you, or you, or you? Uh, they're gifts. Do they're they're usually gifts. Okay. Okay. Um, the problem is people don't understand that origami takes time. Right. And I do it for fun and just to make it interesting to people. Sure. But if you really want to see what it's like, if you want to do something like a guitar, and I don't know if this will show this, but you can kind of see all the... A little bit higher, a little bit higher and a little bit closer to the camera. Okay. okay. You can kind of see all the designs there. Holy man. That's the next page. And that's the next page. So it's a step by step. Yeah, and how many steps is the guitar? I can't do it, so I don't know. <laughs> uh, well, I think they're they're numbers. There's in about there, right? thirty-five. Thirty-five yeah. steps. Holy yeah. man, that's a lot. Now I, some of the others stuff like you know fifteen or twenty. Okay. But they make more sense than something that tiny. Sure, sure. So and your fingers aren't really that small, so it's probably a little bit harder to do. Yeah. Did you ever fold a coin, like a penny or a or a dime or anything? No. No. Oh, okay. No. It's enough doing the bills, believe me. The hard part is finding nice, fresh bills. Sure. Used to go before Christmas and order a hundred or two hundred dollars of ones brand okay. new. Sure. They don't do that anymore. Wow. For some okay. reason, the banks decided they won't distribute one dollar brand new bills. Okay. So now I'll go to a bank, and if nobody's there, I'll ask them to go through their counter. Sure. So if you come across any fresh one dollar bills, I'm interested. Okay. <laughs> How much do you pay for them? One dollar. A dollar. Okay. <laughs> perfect. Perfect. <laughs> All right. So we have. Uh, so so the reason that I that I brought you in or whatever and thought thought mm -hmm. of you as a as a great guest is that we have a bunch of origami dollar bills on the meat counter and people mm -hmm. are like, oh, are these tips for you or yeah. anything? So so it's just just really interesting for a lot of kids really like to pick them up and and take a look at them and you know yeah. throw the throw the the jet plane and stuff like that and. It's just really interesting while while people are waiting for their for their food or something like that. Right. So I thought it'd be really cool for you to for you to come in here and uh, kind of explain some of the some of the the money and and how you started and everything like that. So yeah, again, it's it's you want to do something for somebody. You can pay them a one dollar tip, big deal. You yeah. give them a one dollar ring or a one dollar elephant or yeah. a frog, that means something to them. Sure. I mean, I've got places I go where when I leave the tip they'll open up their book and show the other tips I've given them. Oh, yeah. really? Okay. And oh, there's actually awesome. another eating place that actually has them around their register, too. Okay. Oh, cool. So it's just one of those things that I, people tend to know me for that when I come sure. in like that. Okay. So. so so, we've had people that, as you know, we've had people come in here and say, oh my gosh, my, my daughter collects elephants, or yeah. this would be really cool. So. So I will give them a give them that dollar, and then they will give me a dollar, and I try to give you, you know, two or three dollars or whatever. And you <laughs> said, nope, it's only a dollar. So I will trade you a dollar for a dollar. So right. if there are any origami dollar bills up here that you would like to, you know, have for yourself or for your family or whatever, um, we will trade you the dollar for a dollar. And then, uh, how often do you do this? How often do you just sit there and fold money? When you're watching TV at night, that's what I do because women knit or do yarn or whatever sure. i sit there and fold money okay and that's uh, you know how i make it and, and i'll have if i'm going to go away for a weekend we're going to stay at a hotel i'm going to leave tips i'll make a bunch extra okay so i'll have them there to give different tips every time every sure. night a different uh, bill okay 
And so that's like like when they fold the towels at a at a resort or yep. whatever. They fold yep. the towel as a, as a swan or as a you know whatever flower or whatever. Yeah. So you, that's what you do. That's really that's really really cool. It's that's just awesome. it's something fun to do and it makes us smile for people. Yes. And you yes. guys like smiles on people. We do. Yes. <laughs> yes, we do. That's why we're doing uh, BS TV. I think. <laughs> Put some smiles on people's faces. Yeah. Um, what is the easiest one to make? Um. I mean, how, well, many, w, how many do you think you do? The W is probably the easiest because okay. basically it's a it's a dollar. You fold it basically this way, then this way, and this way, and now you have your W. Okay. So now it's just a matter of oh, fan looks, folding it. That looks down. just like this. Yeah, you just yeah. fan fold it the rest of the way and open it up. Okay. So that's probably the easiest. Okay. Wow. Uh, the it, rest of them. It seems like it would be a lot harder than that. Well, when you get into the, air, the airplanes, it's a little more difficult because there's special uh, base you got to use to start the front of it. Um, you do a butterfly. So this, uh, you're talking about this jet right here, yep. right? Yep. That's really cool. Got F-14. F-14. Okay. So then you get a butterfly. Now the nice thing about a butterfly is that in order to fold this, you need a ruler. Okay. Because if you try to fold a dollar bill corner to corner, you ain't gonna make it. No. <laughs> okay. You're gonna, you're gonna end up like this, like this one here, where it doesn't fit. You gotta, yeah, that doesn't you look You gotta right. have a dollar a stretch mark there to get it perfectly even. Okay. You know, so you'll need something like that. Um, if you're doing something like this, this one really isn't that bad. It's two bills. The shirt isn't hard in the pants. You just fold in half and double up. Sure. But. Uh, you know, it's, it's yeah. Fun. A lot, of, a lot of people like this. They they pick this up and they're like, oh my gosh, that's really really cool. There's a lot of details in there, like the collar and you know the the, the sleeves and everything like that. That's really really cool. That's awesome. But then you make the dress, and the dress, while it looks cool, that takes a whole lot more work than the way the pants do. Sure, Believe doesn't take me. doesn't take very much work for me though. And then you run into problems where the book tells you to fold it. And you look at it and you're saying, that can't be right because they're showing green and white. Okay, yeah. Well, they misplaced it. It was supposed to be green on this side and they showed it as white. So you got to oh. then make corrections to that. Don't sure. The book. So, so you just throw the dollar away and then get a new crisp dollar bill? Start all over? I spend it, yeah. Oh, you spend it. Okay, here at Jacobs? Well, just about any place, but yeah, I, okay, I, I okay. brought them here. Normally, I need more than just a dollar bill here, but that's okay. Right, right. <laughs> we should really work on that, shouldn't we? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, good quality is worth it. So, yes, but yes, anyway. Thank you. Um, so, so the uh, the W is the easiest to make. What's the hardest to make that you've that you've done? Probably the hardest is going to be the turkey. Oh, I um, like that. Again, it's supposed to stand up. They got the little legs here. Okay. It, you know, they can do it in pictures a lot easier than it does in real life. <laughs> right. But yeah, that's my turkey. So. Wow, that's awesome. I haven't seen that one before. And then I make rings. And this ring is something that, you know, you can give to people. And I, a lot of times, like if I go out to eat and a waitress comes, I'll ask her for a hand and slip a ring on and say, will you be my waitress for this meal? Oh, yeah. You know, type of thing. What do they say? Mostly they take the ring, yes. Mostly? You know? Oh, okay. Then I got to tell them they yes. got to take it off to wash their hands because it's paper <laughs> and it'll get wet. <laughs> okay. And then we do have a diamond ring Ooh. that has a diamond inside of it. Diamond and in ring. Okay. This takes a little more to make and sometimes you need a little tape to get it to stick, stay the right height because it, paper doesn't always stick together. <laughs> right. So <laughs> like do you say it takes a little bit more to make because that's a dollar and a dime? No. Oh, <laughs> Just, okay. Doing the dollar to get the fold to hold the dime is a little more work. Oh, that's what but, I mean. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, and then like this is actually the Concorde, the supersonic jet. Oh, yeah. Where the nose actually tips down. I see that. So you got all of those things that you can give. So, wow. yeah, those are the things you do. Uh, so what are you going to do with all the fame, the fame that you're going to get from being on BS TV? Um, well, I don't... A lot more work, probably? <laughs> probably. Yeah. You know, I don't want everybody coming in and say, oh, I want one of this, I want one of this, and I'm sitting here, you're giving me $20 to make, you know, and stuff like that. Right. But no, I, I do it just for the fun of it. Sure. I mean, there's some kids you see, and, and you know, you just 
want to do something for them. And yeah. It's nice to be able to give them something like that and I, remember it. So I've seen, I've seen you in here with kids, and yeah. the kids are looking at the candy or something like that, and you just go give them a frog or you give them a, a, a well, dollar. Well, I give them my dollar, change yeah. usually, but yeah. Well, <laughs> well I, I think it's really yeah. cool, and, and just to see their face light up like, yeah. oh, my gosh, oh, the, and this is a dollar. You know, they think that, oh, my gosh, you just hand me, handed me a frog or something yeah. like that, and it's a dollar bill. So yeah. um, then they just probably don't want to spend and, it. And but. there's people I know where I've met their kids, and they'll give their kids a, a frog or of uh, 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 elephant or you know whatever and they're in their 40s now some of them I'm that old sure. that they actually still come up and say I still have that frog you gave me I still have really? that elephant you gave me they wow. still have it on their counter or whatever wow that's awesome so that's, that's something really, that really they cool. remember yeah definitely definitely so, um, do you take requests for what I make yes yeah can you make Eric <laughs> Disappear? Uh, not really. I <laughs> can't make human beings yet. <laughs> oh, you can't. Okay. Okay. Um, can you? Uh, could you fold one for us so that maybe the, sure. the easiest one? Maybe we can see how see how you do it. Well, probably the easiest one to see would probably be the elephant. Elephant. Okay. Because it's not that terribly hard. Okay. okay. Um, you can see where you are. I got to be up. You're got to come way down yet. There. That's good. That's good. Okay. So for the elephant, you got to bend it all the way across with the white side up. You end up getting a lot of ink on your nails as you do that. Then you fold these ends in. And then you refold this to get a, a bigger point on it. And again, you, you don't fold all the way to the center because then they'll overlap and they won't make nice oh, corners sure. and stuff like that. It's little things Looks you pick like up. Looks like you're making a jet air, a paper airplane here. Yeah, well, the paper airplanes aren't made this way, though. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's another way. All right, then you just fold it in half. Because again, halfway through, you won't realize this is an elephant. Fold this back this way. this back into here. So I'm looking at the chat and there are 16 people that are folding this the same way that you're doing it right now. <laughs> they're, they're asking you to slow down and go back four steps. Yeah, uh, right. I don't think the show's that long that we can do that, so, but. <laughs> and this is always the one that's hard because you just went back and you gotta go to the front and move this. Okay. So that's one of those things that you can forget after a while when you get old like me. Sure. But I do have my book for this, but most of these the, all the jets, the this one, the frog, that it can all make from memory. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna, I was gonna say. So you just sit there and watch TV and and do you it just, from memory, or yep, you have yep. to sit there with the book. Okay. Yep. See, then you learn that you fold this now. The book didn't show that, but you need that for later on. Okay. Then you fold these corners in. Yeah, that doesn't look anything like an elephant. And so you get <laughs> these to come in and, you know, it's... You gotta crease it, huh? Yeah, you gotta keep it creased and, and you can make some moves. I mean, there's, there's designs they give you to fold that you, you wouldn't believe were possible. Right. And that's why I can't make all of them. And then you just, then you just give up and start on a different one? Yep. Okay. So now we fold it over like that and bring it halfway back so half his face is showing, the president. Okay. Who is that again? Bush? Yeah. Washington is a better guy. Oh, that, Washington. Okay. Yep. See, then we got this is one that always took time to get to get these to come out even like this. It does look tough, yeah. Now it's even. We fold it in half. Oh, it's beginning now to look I'm a little bit that. like an elephant. Yeah. We go to this side and we tuck this in. Oops, there we go. And we tuck this in so we got a tail that comes out the back. Because we want our elephant to have a tail. All right, got it. Okay. And then you tip this in, squish it, fold it. That's all Turn it is. Ears? Oh, look at that. And put the trunk up like this. 
and once more like this and you got your elephant wow that looks awesome that's incredible wow that's <laughs> really really cool and when and you, you did that within five minutes it doesn't take long for that those is, types of things it's sure. the, the ones that take a little longer are going to be you know the this one sure i'm going to turn this off sorry yeah no that's okay <laughs> that's okay um wow and, that's really really impressive yeah so it's just fun stuff to do this takes sure. you know it doesn't take long other than getting those initial edges made for the ends to go right and, and I'm sure it's probably the first time. The first time the is always. See, I got that. it right to the end there. I just have to fold that in. That's right. right. So. Yeah. And I'm sure doing it the first time is probably the hardest one. Right. And then remembering that you know, oh, I remember last time when I did this, I had to do this, and that the book didn't say that or right. fold it like you said, the half of the president's face or whatever. Like so when you're making rings like this, the original ring would be much bulkier, and because I normally give these to women. Uh, I tried, I fold the ends in to make it much narrower okay. and make this tighter. Okay. Now I've had a couple that came to me and gave me two $50 bills and said, can you make rings out of these for a 50th wedding anniversary? Oh. So I made a larger one for him and a smaller one for him. And they thought it was absolutely fantastic wow, to get awesome. $50 rings. Yeah. And wow. we were actually on a trip someplace and uh, I was folding money at this table. And this one gal sitting above asked if I could fold a bill for her. And she gave me a hundred dollar bill and i folded her a ring with a hundred dollar right there okay now, you can't do that with the current bills because they revamped the hundred oh, and the right. numbers are so much bigger right so you can't use them anymore. and they're in a different place or something right. yeah wow right so but I never really you can still do that. it with the ones okay and the twos you can do it with um twos you can get fairly crisp bills fairly often but now you're spending more money right what about the three dollar bills <laughs> Can haven't been able to use those a lot. I no? tried okay. to use those, but they disappear on me. <laughs> so I think Uncle Sam takes them. Oh, really? <laughs> uh, do you like apples? Yes, I like apples. You do. Do you make apples with the dollar bills? You can make an apple, and I've tried making an apple, and I failed. Yeah? Did, did it have the bite out of it? No. Was that the hard part? No, it didn't have the bite. It was just oh, trying okay. to get the... It, it takes more to get it to form than what I thought it would. And sure, again, probably having the core in there maybe too. I'll tr yeah. <laughs> maybe I'll try again another time to do it. Okay. Um, there's also a puffy heart that you can make that uh, evident somebody in the community does make it. Okay. And because uh, one gal at the one restaurant said, can you make me one of those puffy hearts? And I said, if I knew how to do it, I would, but right. I, I don't. So, right. But I, if I can give you this, you know, I give right. her a ring or an elephant or whatever. Okay. So, okay. Yeah. Awesome. See, and the nice thing about these little frogs is you tip them like this. And you just got to push the legs down to make sure there's clearance. Well, and I don't think we can, can we get this up here so that they see sure. it. I'll hold it. Okay. And you just tip the frog and it jumps. I, I show I show kids that on the on the one on the meat counter there and they're all yeah. they're all they and then they want to do it. <laughs> so, uh, thank you very much for coming by. I, I really appreciate it. Uh, you're you're a great customer of ours and and I really look forward to every time you come in. Hey, you know sometimes I, you bring something different in and yeah. um, and it's just really really cool. So well, thank you very much. I was for going to in. make something different, but I couldn't get it to come out. I was going to make you. Oh, I didn't. What do I do with it? Never mind. I lost it. I was going to make you an owl, but I could not get it to come out. Oh, okay. <laughs> All Maybe right. a couple more times. You can times still, I'll get you can it still work at it. it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. All right. So, well, thank you very much for yeah. coming by. I really appreciate it. Okay. I appreciate Take it. Take care. All right. We'll be right back.
microphones, and it's, we're yes. back. And we're back. That was cool. That, that was, was awesome. Very cool. Yes. I don't think I've ever seen a dollar bill being origami before. I have I've definitely s- not seen origami, but right, not a, a dollar bill. And right. It didn't look anything like an elephant for a very long time, yeah. and then boom, it was an <laughs> elephant. Boom. Yes. And the detail too, with the I mean, the ears, the tail, the, the, the trunk, the was trunk was everything. folded. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you held up the shirt and the pants and said it was. Had a lot of detail with the collar and the sleeves. Yeah, yeah. The, the pant legs and the shirt sleeves all had cuffs because of the. Right, very right. Cool. And it was matched up and everything. Very yeah. cool, very yes, cool. Definitely. Moving right along, Meat Market Mailer. What is that? Meat Market it's Mailer. On, it's on my piece of paper here, it but is, I'm not yes. sure what it is. Yes, I'm not really sure what it is, okay, but I'll just talk on. my way through it. Uh, so, uh, our Meat Market Mailer is uh, an electronic mail or email, email that we send out every Sunday and Wednesday. I got one this morning. You did? I okay. did, yeah. Well, because today is Wednesday, right? Today is Wednesday. Okay, so That's Wednesday you must have gotten the weekly, weekly specials. specials. Yeah. Yes, We'll yes. probably go over those. We, yeah, yeah, we should. We should, just in case you open it and we're going to save it till later. Yeah. Uh, and then on Sundays, we get the, you get the, uh, uh, the weekly menu that we serve uh, Monday through Friday from 11 to 2, as well as the Monday, Tuesday specials. Monday, Tuesday specials. Yeah, so it's pretty painless, two emails a week. That's not over bombarding your. How does a person inbox. sign up for this again? Uh, right on our website, jacobsmeatmarket.com. Uh, on the right hand side, just enter your email address and uh, to click submit, and you're. Is that easy? Is it's it? that easy, yes. What's the cost? Free, yeah. it's free, free, it's free, free it's free, free, it's free. Yes. free. Speaking yeah. of lunch. Today only, yes. Speaking of lunch, uh, it's Wednesday. It is, is Wednesday. Is it brought Fry Wednesday? No, not no. Till next week. Next Wednesday. Yes. Next Wednesday. Yes. Uh, you have a Lunch contest? with Luke contest going on for the month of April. It's, yes. It's in full swing. Yes. You buy a lunch, you fill out the little ticket. Yep. And they'll Name be, and phone number. Yeah. Right here, we're going to pull the winner on the first episode in May. May, May 1st. Probably May, May 1st. Day, yeah. Okay. So be sure to, yeah. I yeah. Mean, not that anybody would want to have Many lunch with Luke. Many will enter. One, <laughs> One will win. win. Yes. Weekly specials. Yes. And I heard something about deer. Deer, yes. Yeah. What, what are you doing with deer? Uh, so I've been breeding racing deer. Uh, okay, why? Just trying to make a quick buck. That's funny. That's funny. Uh, it's 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 National Golfers Day. Yes, know? yes, it is. And, and you like golf? I do. So I'm going to quiz golf. you. There's the three ways to improve your golf game. One is to take lessons. Uh, the second is to practice constantly. What's the third? Not watch me. No. What's that? You're, but you're very good at cheat. Cheat! Oh, Cheat. <laughs> that's like playing any game, right? Yeah. Yes. Weekly yes. specials. Weekly, Weekly specials. specials. We have them. Oh, this this is a yes. popular one. This, this is, is our number one. one number one this sale when, item. When we Chuck have fresh... is in town, everyone comes to oh, see it. Oh yeah, especially if he's on the ground. Ground Chuck uh, is uh, four sixty nine a pound, or if you buy more than six point seven nine pounds in one package. Uh, you get it, a deal? Yes, it's only four forty nine a pound. Oh, Twenty cents a pound. Yes, less. less. Well, yeah, even so the more you buy, the more you great, save. I have had the ground chuck. Yes. Fantastic. It is the only thing that I bring home, yes. And, and people do come for that when yes. it's on special. Yes, yes they do. They, they, they do. get 10, 15, 20 pounds, even 30. My next button says summer. We're not even done with summer, spring yet. Yeah, right. It seems like uh, so far away. Uh, Jacob's own summer sausage is on sale for five forty nine a pound. Is that the plain or the, or the garlic? Uh, either one. Your choice. Either one. Or either one or both. both. You don't have to <laughs> don't take have both. To take no, no. What do you do with summer sausage? Uh, so we have the bigger summer sausage that I put on a sandwich, um, or oh, and we the, can slice it for like in, a, in okay. the deli. Sandwich meat. T- sandwich size. meat. Yes, um, and the shorter ones are more cracker size, cracker like size. a Ritz cracker size. And do you have to keep this refrigerated? Yes, you do. Okay. Yep. Yep. It's not the yard of beef that you see in yeah. larger yeah. stores. That I prefer are. it that it needs. Yeah. It could go bad if I didn't eat it. Right. It gives me an excuse to eat. Yes. It. Yes. Less preservatives that way. My next button says tenderloin. Yes. Fresh, all natural pork tenderloins are oh, just four forty nine a pound. Okay. Yes. Is that right? It is right. It yes. Seems a little too inexpensive. Yes. Uh, so normally they're six ninety nine a yeah. pound. Yeah. Uh, but we have That's the two packs deal. on sale for four forty nine a pound. Yes. Do I have to take the both pack, the two pack? Uh, you can take just one if you'd like. One if I like. Yeah, yeah. That's a screaming good. Guess what I'm leaving with today? Yes, right. I think we should like make a uh, a, a grocery list for you. Uh, it's right here on your. Because Max paper. isn't listening. No, he's... neither is Nate. Why would they? Yeah, right. Why would they? Right, they've heard it so many times. Our button next, brats. Yes. Uh, next, uh, we have Jacob's own beer and cheese curd brats. Four sixty nine. Are those pounds. your favorite? Those are my favorite are flavored favorite. brat. Yes. Flavored brat. Yes. I'm not big on curds. No. No. How about in brats? Curds like the well, like the cheese curds, the cheese or, curds the, are good. or the is that what you're talking about? Nationality. 
They're fine. Oh, it's okay. It's cheese okay. curds in a broth. I'm not. So you just Have take a cheese them? curd and put it in the broth. Yeah, we take a pork broth, yeah, we take the pork, pork out. out. Yeah, we mix uh, some beer in it and cheese curds, and then we stuff it back and in the are casing. Are these high temp melt curds? No, they are these not. These are just curds. Just oh, curds. Oh, that might be yes. good then. Yes. That might be very good. Yes. And it's still a pork broth. Yes. So it kind of tastes like a pork broth. Yes. Yes. Okay, I will try. Just those. adds a little flavor. I will to try. It, I would say. I will try those. Um, the um, next one is probably. The next one, uh, you're making boneless. me lie here for the yes, first time yes. ever. I'll put it up there just so you can yes. say we're already out of it. Yes, we're already out of it. Uh, so we have some um, spinach and feta marinated chicken breasts. Okay, same for price? It's three ninety nine a pound. Three ninety nine yes. a pound. Yes. Okay, so no garlic parmesan. Garlic parmesan free. Yeah, it's spinach. Oh, I can spinach see it, can't I? Feta. Is it I feta or feta? It's to feta. It's feta. Feta. Okay. Yeah, it's feta. for me too. Uh, and I can see them, can't I? Yes. Yeah. Well, they look cookable. They do. They look cookable. Yeah, they look and viable and then cookable. Cook, the, the good size. Yes. It's a very large size. Yes, they're about a pound, pound and a half. So no garlic, no Parmesan. Correct. Okay. I'm going on listening. to something that says salad. Yes, uh, Jacob's Own Ham Salad, four forty nine a pound. That's that, a crowd that's favorite. That's not a salad. <laughs> it's got green in it. What the, green is the it? The sweet relish. <laughs> Pickles. Yeah. Pickles is a salad. Yeah. No. This is that's a, green. This is a... A sandwich spread of some kind, right? Or it's a ham you salad, eat it yes. like a salad. <laughs> yeah, we toss it. And you toss it. Yeah, put, put some ranch. Pepper on. Yeah, right. ranch on top of it. Uh, is, would you put this on bread and eat you it like could, a sandwich? Yeah, you could eat it like a sandwich crackers, or uh, yeah, with uh, crackers. Yes, but not just a bowl of it. Some people do. Really? Is yeah. That some good, people is take it? a take a spoon and they eat it on the way home. Yes. Oh, well, you're talking for yourself, aren't you? Maybe. 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 I can either confirm okay. And this or is deny. also popular. Yes. This is very also popular. very popular. Yes. Yes, he just uh, made a double batch this morning, so that'll last us maybe two days. Maybe two days. Yeah. For, oh, so it's a batch a day. Yes. Okay. I'm moving on to walleye. Yes, uh, frozen Canadian walleye fillets are just twelve ninety nine a pound. That's a good price. It is a great a price. price. How many are you taking? Especially home? after from from being up in Canada. Yeah, far from home, aren't they? Eh. Eh. <laughs> anyway, uh, door number three. Door number three. Door, yes. Door number I three, think right behind. They're on the top shelf. Top shelf. You if think? I do believe so. Yeah. If I do believe so. Yeah. Yes. What does this one say? Uh, then the last links. one here is Jacob's own chicken breakfast links, five forty nine oh, a pound. The breakfast links are really good. Yes, they really are. Really good. Yes. Now we the, had the maple ones a couple weeks ago. Yeah, those are my then, favorite. Uh, regular. Yeah. My favorite are the maple. Yeah. Because I like the little bit of sweet there. Right. Definitely. That's just me. Yeah. You now like these the these sweet. chicken, uh, they they don't taste like chicken though. They taste no. They taste, they taste like, like regular, regular like a breakfast yeah. link. Yeah. So supposedly maybe a little healthier. Yes. Maybe. Definitely. Uh, mm -hmm. According to many, yes, uh, but with all the flavor that you expect Definitely. from a Jacob's Meat Market breakfast. Product. Link. Yes, yes, very good. Guess I'm leaving with those yes, two. Yes, there's about 14 to the pound, typically. Oh, five forty-nine. About how many per pound would you say? I, th I would say about 14, give We're or take. Moving right along. Yes, not a new product. No, but a long-anticipated restock of one of my favorite from products. From you or from the rest of the customers? Uh, they fly out of here, so they I'm do. not the only one yes. who likes these. Yes. Give me these, give me these. Yeah. Uh, I have the crispy chocolate caramels. And I'll tell you right now, if you're looking for the sea salt caramels, you better get here soon. Because, because you're gonna I'm buy gonna them all. Take yeah. them all. <laughs> yes. I wasn't planning to last time, but it was just, right. that's what happened. Well, you said that you would come down here, was it within the day or the next day to get another Both. one? Not that I'm. Oh no, the next day. Not the that next I'm day. The next telling, day. Uh, tattling yeah. on you. But I mean, things. one a day, I'll, I'll beat you all here. Sure, <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Crispy uh, chocolate caramel. And then yes. when they were gone, I tried another one. I forget what it was, but it was equally as delicious. Sure, sure. These guys have a great product. I mean, they're they're Amish made, um, so they're they're a great quality that you know. They really are. Long standing. Yes. They're, yeah, they're delicious. Yes. I'll see you later. Uh, we also have the million dollar fudge here, um, some baby Ruth bars, and uh, English toffee. And those are not the only ones you have. Correct. There's Correct. A whole we have batch some other. Yeah. 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 But the show is only so back long. in stock. The show's only so long. Yes. It's as long from, as we uh, want. From Country Kitchen is Country the brand Kitchen. name on it. Yeah. I'm glad they're back in stock. Yes. Special I'm days. Sure you are. Have I mentioned that today is National Golfer's no, Day? No, I don't think you have. Uh, today is National Golfer's Day. I think you should go golfing. I will. You're planning to? Yes, I will. Good for you. Yes. Indoors. Uh, oh. Indoors. I'm in an indoor golf league, so. Oh, so it's a simulator? Yes. Oh, okay. Yep. That counts. They're yeah. Fun. They're it's fun. still golfing, they're yeah. Fun. They're fun. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, so no walking. All right. No, trying to find your ball. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this Saturday, That's my problem. April thirteenth, National Scrabble Day. Scrabble. It's the Scrabble. birthday of Scrabble. Oh. You're aware. You're you're familiar with the game. I am. Yes. My mom used to play it a lot. Not anymore. I 
I don't. I think she's missing her Scrabble board. Oh, well, Mother's Day's coming up. Yes, it is. <laughs> Uh, this Monday, of course, April 15th is tax day. Right. But in addition to being tax day, it's National Laundry Day. So finally you get to do your laundry. Isn't that for laundering money for the well, I was tax day? I don't yeah, think so. Yeah, right. Ixnay on the pen play. <laughs> <laughs> Last week's contest, you were giving away eight wieners, eight buns, and a pound of baked beans. Yes. Do you still have any baked beans? We do, yes. Okay. Yes, yeah, she, she actually made another batch on Monday. <laughs> Because they're so good. Yes, so, right. That's, that's what you said. Yes. Last, last that's what a couple of comments were, yes. I believe. I have some comments. Why don't yes. I read some comments? Yes. Um, what well, Karen says, Luke's right. Those baked beans are killer. See? Does that mean good? Uh, well, she's still alive, so they're not literally killers. <laughs> Chris says, uh, for April Fools, I told people on Facebook I was in a new relationship. Lots of them believed it. Mm. You know Chris. So was yeah. that funny? Oh, hilarious. Hilarious. Yes. The winner is Buck. I chose the winner this Buck. week. Buck. Randomly. Did you, did you, because of the, because of the. Not because of your joke, but because joke? of the comment. Oh, okay. Buck said, happy birthday, Eric. I said, guess oh. what? You win eight wieners, eight buns, and a pound of baked beans. Oh, how about that? Is that from you or from me then? That's from you. Oh, okay. That's well, thanks you. for choosing Buck then. So Buck, come on down. You have three weeks, apparently. We've set a limit, three weeks. We put yes. this up in your office. Right. It's there for three weeks. Right. If you don't come in then, we, we split the prize. Right. So, I'm not sure we're going to know who Buck is, though. Buck will come in and say, happy I'm birthday. Buck. I'm Buck. <laughs> don't admit to everyone we don't know who Buck uh, right, is. Right, right. <laughs> oh, look, there he is now. Well, he doesn't comment every week, so it's, you know. Yes, he does. Does he? Yeah. OK. Every single week. OK. Uh, do you want to do another contest? Yes. What shall the prize be? Uh, I think we should give away one country oh. kitchen um, yeah, of their choice. Of their choice. Of their choice. Of whatever's left. Item. Yes. Of whatever's right. left. Or right. when we get a restock. Yes. We have lots. We do. But it, it went Currently. past last time. Yes. It went past. So uh, what shall we have? You, to enter, just comment on this video, either in YouTube or in Facebook, whichever you prefer. You can comment anything you like, like... Happy, Happy birthday, birthday Eric. Eric. Yeah, or Jade or Claire. Or Jade or Claire. Yep. Uh, but if you want some inspiration, you, you suggested this. Why yes. Don't you? Uh, the uh, comment, like the activity that you've missed over the winter, not that it's been a terrible winter or anything like that, but um, uh, certain maybe an things activity, you don't do. Yeah, yeah, that you don't do in the winter that you are looking forward to in either in the spring or in the summertime. Right. Like so, uh, golfing? Like golfing? They close like the. Going for a bike well, you ride. can do the simulator, right? Yes. Suppose. Yeah. Bike ride is for me. Yeah. Golfing, you probably prefer a course. I do, you, yes. you do the simulator because it's a group thing and right. you're yes. having fun and it's yes. a league. Yeah. But you prefer a, to be out on a course. And they've opened now. Yes, they, they have. They have for opened. Sure. I think they opened Monday. Uh, well, they were open and then they were closed oh, because they? of the snow and then now they're, they're all, all open again. Yes. Now, it might still snow again. It it's might. not nothing in the forecast. I'm not saying that. Right. But it's only April and we yeah. have had snow at the end of April. There was an April 15th that I remember. Uh, so 14th and it was three feet. It was, was it? Okay. Okay. Because it was right around tax day, because I think they extended the tax day because of that snow. Because of that? And I only have to remember it because uh, I had rented a car. Okay. I, was, I wasn't here with my car. Remember, I just came to visit. Right. And I rented a car for a snowstorm, sat, couldn't go anywhere. No. <laughs> the only thing I got to do with that car was dig it out and return it on Monday. I thought maybe you couldn't find it, so you couldn't do anything. No, no. Didn't want to, didn't have anywhere to go. Right. Yeah. Right. So, that's it for me. Uh, All right. You have lines to read. Oh, yes. Uh, I, I guess I do. Uh, thank you very much for watching this uh, episode of BS TV. We'll be back again next Wednesday at 1030 a.m. Uh, with another live broadcast. Please like this video and consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Or better yet, come and visit us at the store at the corner of Law and Pacific, where we are open Monday through Friday, Monday through Saturday. Yeah, well, we, just we are Saturday. open Monday through yeah, Friday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Monday through Saturday, 8 a.m. till 6 p.m. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Have See you next week. week. Bye.